I just have a short story about me being 18. I went to VCU and I was dating an artist and I didn't know much about the arts, but the restaurant where I was working, they had a bikini contest and um, I did it. And my granddad was completely, he had a very conservative family, thought that was not good. I won. Yeah, me with no, no, you know, but legs. It was the Redskin players judging and I guess they were leg men as I walked down the stairs in my basically string bikini when I was 18. And the trip was to the Bahamas. Um, they paid for my airfare and my hotel room. And so I took my boyfriend with me and I wanted to buy gold rings. And I bought a couple snake gold rings. And I was really focusing on, on that, that thing of just getting rings for my fingers. <laughs> And now looking back, I know where that came from. I, in high school, I had made friends. My family's pretty modest and um, modest income, and, but we did a lot of stuff. I mean, we, we were very privileged, modest people, but um, not as privileged as this family. They had servants and a mansion that you would get lost in. I, I, would, I got lost in, I could figure out how to get back to the wing where my friend's room, her, her wing in the house. But see, the thing was, is that her big thing was collecting jewelry. She she had a big jewelry box, and um, so she they wore gold. This is the '80s too, so they had gold necklaces, gold. And I I guess I just thought that was the road to happiness was to start collecting jewelry. But I didn't have the money to collect jewelry. One thing was funny was they got into ultra, the boob job thing, and I had a crush on her her brother which kind of made the relationship probably not go so well for her and me. But um, he told her, he said, I, I can pay for one of your boobs this year, and next year I can pay for the other. But so I realized, I said, you know, the outside influences on people telling them what's important and people that they surround themselves with, they do have some deep effect on the psyche. Um, I guess getting into the arts and finding music and other people that had other interests um, helped me a great deal. But um, I'm a agape love person. I, I, like if you give a flower, you know, just to brighten the other person's day and you don't expect anything in return. Um, or buy them a car or give them a meal or, you know, just an, a listening ear too. Sometimes people just need to be heard and listened to. But, um, but yeah, that, that, the, the few years that I lived with that family during my parents' divorce, I guess it was a dopamine thing of getting stuff like that. And, uh, but then that slowly goes away. You don't, you have to get more and more and you, it's just like a drug. Um, and today I, I do have a ring, but flowers are my, my thing for my love. I, I, my signature is a flower. So, um, you know, even in tough, some days you're in a tough situation, just go out and enjoy the sunny weather. And that's one thing we have to learn to teach our children is how to self-soothe, how to, how to think about their day because stress will come up and we need to know how to deal with these problems. And we can start learning that in brain health and STEM, um, you know, understanding each other and communicating. Thank you.